Hey guys, how is it going? Happy Wednesday. This is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel. What is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message for you guys today. So let's just dig in. Let's get started. We're going to start off with your Oracle cards. So the first one says distant thunder and it says clear the air. Dramatic purification, renewal and healing are occurring on many levels. Don't be concerned if there is chaos in your life. In this is instance, it is good. It is shaking things up so you don't become stagnant. If your auric field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult for exciting new experiences and opportunities to come into your life. It's time to clear out old, clear out clutter, clutter, release the old, discarded and unused. Clear the air and release situations and people who don't empower you. Purify the dross out of your life in order for renewal to occur. The old needs to make way for the new. On the distant horizon, a storm is brewing. Great shards of lightning are thunder bolting, bolting to the earth from the heavens. It can feel chaotic, but it heralds a time of renewal. The thunderstorm clears the dust out of the air and re-energizes the earth. Be open to change. It's all good, even if it doesn't seem like it. New energy is flooding your energy fields. Examine your life and see if there is anything that needs to be cleared, renewed, or released. Now is the time renewal and even rebirth is at hand. So very interesting. The second card says, passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Find joy in the moment. No matter what is occurring in your life, if you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously. Love often and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with the people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. When the traveler meets a band of gypsies, the traveler stops to dance in the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about our current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasures whenever you can. Allow your senses to be sedated. Fly in and explore the beauty around you. You don't need to suffer to grow. You can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. Dance, eat well, and drink well. Share joy whenever you can. That is your oracle message for the beginning of this reading. Very interesting. So, I feel like you guys are waiting for some type of communication to come in. I feel like you're waiting for some type of offer. You are searching for I want to say forgiveness, but I don't know what you guys would be searching for forgiveness for. But it, when you see this man on this horse in this picture, it's kind of like he's looking out, either out at someone that he's trying to get attention of, or he's looking at what his future can be. So it's like he's in this state of feeling uncertain, but on the other hand, he feels like he doesn't know kind of what which direction. He's just waiting. He's he's waiting for something to come in. He's waiting for some type of signal. So I feel like 
what this means for you guys is that you're waiting for some type of signal, some type of communication to come through to you. This could be a job relationship. This could be, um, sorry guys, a relationship offer. This is just something that is coming, coming to the surface finally. I feel like it's been a forever feeling. So I don't know who that resonates with or what that message was for, but I feel like there is some some type of message, some type some type of communication coming through for somebody. Um, I feel like you're gonna be ready to fight whatever this is. You're gonna be ready to fight for it. You're going to be able to stand your ground. You're gonna be able to battle. You're gonna be able to. Put your intention on whatever this is, um, or they are coming at you full force, ready to charge. Um, yeah, it's like a charging force. Like they, they see you from a distance and now they're charging towards you. They want this communication. They want this relationship. They want whatever this is to work. It's just they're waiting on some type of communication from you or some type of signal to um, get this going. That would be the word. I feel like you guys are um, all in fantasy world right now. You're um, daydreaming. I feel like you have some choices that need to be um, made, some choices that need to be put into reality. This is a time to be realistic, um, not to settle with the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're going to have two choices, two options, or two directions when it comes to this decision today. Um, you're going to instantly have to choose the right path that calls to you. You're going to have to instantly choose which path um, is going to bring you that emotional fulfillment, that happiness. Um, which path is going to yeah, bring you happiness? That's what I keep hearing. You're going to have some type of break breakthrough coming in. There's going to be some clarity. Um I feel like this is going to be your chance for potential to change. Whatever hasn't worked out in your past, I believe that it's going to be completely different because you're going to be giving a few different offers, a few different options, and you're going to have to really look within yourself and figure out, you know, again, what is going to bring you that emotional fulfillment, what is going to bring you that full happiness that you've been longing for, that you've been searching for. You know, because we have planted those seeds a while ago. We have been manifesting all that we want. And, and now that it's here, some of you are kind of re-questioning, you know, did, did I make the right choice? Did I rank the right arm? Yeah. Did I make the right choice? Did I make the right decision? Um, so it's kind of spirit's way of saying, you know, this is your chance to go for it. I feel like there will be changes. There will be opportunities coming your way. Um, when I see the will card, I always think of, you know, what will be my next move. And that's what I'm asking you guys. What is going to be your next move as you go through this path, as you go through this journey? Because this is something new. Something new. Something different. It's going to be like the, the wrapping up out of the circle. Like, you know how she's making a circle. I feel like your circle is finally content. Your circle is finally full. I feel like this is a time right now. Um, divine timing is at work. So this is about patience. This is about strength. It's about not selling or selling, settling and about, um, just waiting, you know, waiting for the right time, waiting for the right opportunity. Whatever this is that you guys have been manifesting, it's just about waiting for the right moment to act on it. So with that, 
your oracle cards to end this reading. The first one says, imagine. So essential meaning. Turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imagery and feelings, creativity, and illusions. The Oracle message. Who do you want to be? What do you need to what do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief, and soon you will see those things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. Relationship message. It matters of the heart. It's easy to daydream about. Uh, oh, sorry. It matters of the heart. It's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating. So step out onto the dance floor where imagine, imagination partners with manifestation. The messages of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. Okay, okay yeah, never mind. So that's that one. Okay. Exchanging gifts. The law of giving and receiving, currency trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. The Oracle message. You're entering into a productive and enticing time when all matter, manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them, yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experience and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide, guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value of others bring to your life. Relationship message. Love is an... Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let love let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. That is what I have for you guys for Wednesday. I hope you guys are doing well. Know that I'm sending you guys all love and light, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.